Look who's here! It's the man, the myth, the legend, Daniel Ma. Where'd you come from, Dima? Came from Torrance. I battled. You battled uh, someone? I battled cars. Oh, I, th <laughs> I thought you meant tricking battle. And uh, natural disasters and my mother in law to get you. <laughs> you guys better recognize this guy. It's Julio, aka Jules, aka Julio. Oh, pretty much almost everything behind all our short films, this guy's the, the mastermind of. And mastermind. Uh, um, he's never really done with you before. This is like his third day, right? Yeah. It doesn't, it's not about how good you are, it's uh, it's your, about oh. spirit! It's about spirit! That's Andrew over there, uh... <laughs> Andrew! Okay, he's in his own world. We are oh. here at Firestorm Freerunning oh. and Acrobatics. Every day, right? Shout out to these guys, because they lend us a training spot, and they also lend us a place to do, to pre all our films. Alright, I guess it's just us five today, eh? Me... Brian, Dima, Andrew, and Julio, all your asses are facing at the camera. We're gonna do some wushu, and uh, after we're done, we got some energy left. Burn ourselves out with some tricking. T10. Yeah. don't do wushu primarily, but I feel like wushu is the ultimate test of whether you're able to expand and adapt. <laughs> so it's like, if you really want to know if you're a real martial artist, a real enterprising martial artist, try wushu. It's okay if you can't do it, the important part is that you try. Yeah, you try. And unless you try, you will never amount to anything. My hips, my knees, my shoulders. From the other day? From, yeah, last training session. What was it from, you think it was the stances? Oh stances for sure, dude. Freaking it's the stances. I need to build that foundation because I've never done wushu before, so I respect you, man. <laughs> Andrew! Actually, how are you feeling, man? Uh it's too easy. Oh. <laughs> how are you feeling, Kenny? About what? About the, your kung fu training. Oh, we're doing kung fu. I thought we were just playing around. This is easy. It's easy. Obviously, as you can tell, my, my body is, you know, not optimal for wushu, but I'm still doing it. What are you gonna do? Fight me? I was telling Andrew, you know, he was asking like uh, why he doesn't feel like his stances look like like Andy's or anything like that. And my answer <laughs> to that is <laughs> what? Can you say that again? I think the answer to that is stance work is like a language. So you can learn the language A B C D, but in order to gain fluency, you have to practice it in context. So you can know the stances, but unless you practice the stances in wushu context, they won't take a wushu quality.
or gain her full. Oh! Yo, burnout tricks. Burnout tricks after training. These guys are already going in. Come in, come in. Come in. What up? Oh shit, what? 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 Oh god! Get it! Oh yeah! Oh shit! Oh! Right now. Oh, oh! Yeah, yeah. This jaws. Oh! 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 <laughs> this is the story of the warrior who who pushed his beach with so he landed it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sit, man. All right, you gotta keep trying. Hey, don't give up. Let me see that. Julio. I'm a Revizia. Jules has the warrior spirit. You see, he didn't land the beach. You know what he did? He did it again. He still didn't land it. Then he did it again and again and again. And then one of those again, he landed. And that's what you call warrior spirit. Are you going to stop and not land it? Or are you going to land it? And you tell me. It's up to you. You can do whatever. But Jules here. <laughs>